In this video, we will try to understand a new meta heuristic algorithm named as C line optimization algorithm. This algorithm is inspired by the hunting behavior of C line in nature. We can use this algorithm to solve optimization problems as it provides efficient results when compared with other algorithms. In this video, we will try to understand what is this algorithm all about, how it is working, sea lion's behavior, their hunting strategies, and step by step, we will try to understand how this algorithm is working. First of all, as you can see here, sea lion optimization algorithm is introduced in 2019. It is a nature-inspired population-based metaheuristic optimization algorithm that is basically inspired by the hunting behavior of sea lions in nature. This algorithm provides efficient results when compared with different algorithms like particle swarm optimization algorithm, gray wolf optimizer, whale optimization algorithm, sine cosine algorithm, and dragonfly algorithm so as this algorithm is inspired by the hunting behavior of sea lions so first we will try to understand sea lions behavior their hunting strategies so that we can easily understand how this algorithm is working sea lion is one of the most intelligent creature live in large colonies and member size is up to 1000 individuals and their average lifespan is about 20 to 30 years male sea lion length is about 8 feet and weight 300 kilograms female sea lion length is about 6 feet and weight 100 kilograms they have short thick fur that help them to stay warm in cold water and here you can see they have large conical nose small ears they can hear quite well above or below water surface. Sea lions are excellent hunter. They consume large quantity of food at a time and they feed on fish, squids, octopus and other. Next you can see here they have sensitive whiskers that can rotate forward. For sea lions this is very important tool to detect nearby fish swimming movements, their location, size and other. Next you can see here they have front and hind flippers. Sea lions can fold hind flippers forward on the body when move on land which seems like they are walking. And last one you can see here their speed is up to 30 miles per hour. Sea lions are highly intelligent and social creature who live in both land and water. When sea lions are on land, they are called large colonies and in water, they are called rafts. Sea lions can dive deep thousand feet and hold their breath for a long time period, around 8 to 20 minutes. Next you can see here sea lions communication. Sea lions communicate with each other during group hunting using variety of vocalizations and they also use their whiskers to detect target position, size. As you can see here, when any sea lion trace plenty of food, they also call other member to join using sound. Here you can see sound reflection on land and here sound reflection in water. In water, their sound travels four times faster than in air. So here you can see this sea lion is calling other members to join on land and in water. Next you can see here other members are joining and they will hunt in group. This behavior is simulated in sea line optimization algorithm to find out the optimal solution. Now we will try to understand their hunting behavior and hunting strategies that is used in this algorithm. Here you can see we have two types of hunting behavior. Individual hunt and hunt in pack that is group hunting. Sea lions hunt individually. Here you can see individual hunt. They hunt individually when there is limited food and they hunt in group when there are a lot of food around. 
when they hunt in group their chance of catching more prey increases so most often they hunt in groups next you can see here two important hunting phases simulated in this algorithm so first we have circle updating position in circle updating position sea lions chase bait wall of fishes and hunt them starting from edges here you can see this is the bait wall of fishes and you can see sea lions hunting the target from the edges as we already discussed in group hunting when any sea lion trace plenty of food source they call other members to join the hunt here in circle updating position sea lion chase bait wall of fishes and hunt them starting from the edges next we have the windling and circling technique in this technique sea lion's behavior depends on sea value so value of sea is calculated and we will perform this behavior that we will discuss in detail in the upcoming slides next you can see here different steps sea lions perform during hunting first we have individual hunting in individual hunting sea lion trace the target when position is traced they start chasing and after pursuing attack and feed next we have hunting in group in group hunting when sea lion trace plenty of food source they start chasing and they also call other members to join the hunt and when the other sea lions also join the hunt after pursuing they encircle and attack the target and then feed first we have individual hunt when there is limited food source individual hunt is performed and when we have plenty of food sources group hunting is performed now step by step we will try to understand how this algorithm is working first we will initialize the algorithm parameters then initialize agents population randomly in the search space calculate the fitness values for all and select best among all check stopping condition calculate the value for c parameter calculate the leader sound then we will check for all agents whether the leader sound is less than 0.25 or not if this condition is true we will perform this exploration and exploitation phase else we will update the position and then we will check whether the new solutions are within boundary or not then we will calculate the fitness value for the new solutions compare and replace new solution with older one then we rank the population based on their fitness values and update the best solution increment counter and when the stopping condition is met stop and display the best solution now let's try to understand how this algorithm is working step by step first we have parameter initialization phase where we will initialize all the important parameters like population size that is how many search agents we will use here so here we have the virtual environment virtual sea lines so we have suppose eight sea lines design variables that is problem dimension maximum of iteration that is how many time the loop will repeat lower bound upper bound that is the search space boundary and we need all the solutions within the bounds next we will initialize the population randomly in the search space and using this equation we can initialize the position for each search agent in the search space here rand is any normally distributed random value within 0 and 1 capital n that is the population size d here design variables lower bound upper bound that is the search space boundary so using this we can randomly initialize the position for each agent in the search space here we have sea lions as search agents and they are searching for the optimal solution next we will calculate the fitness value for each agent in the current population so we will evaluate their performance using objective function so apply the objective function and then calculate the fitness value for each next we will rank the agents and select best among all so we will rank them based on their fitness values suppose for eight agents we calculated the fitness values as you can see here now we will rank the solution and we will consider the minimum value as the 
best value so among all you can see the best agent we have third one as this value is minimum so we have the best solution right now for this iteration third agent witness value 0.0125 next we will check the stopping condition suppose we have current iteration 1 maximum iteration 500 condition is true move to the next step next we will calculate the value for c this value is used in the c line hunting phase and we can calculate value for this parameter using this equation current iteration is 1 right now and maximum iteration we have 500 so value we obtained for first iteration c is equal to 1.996 now suppose in next iteration when value for current iteration is now 2 we obtain value for c 0 0.996 for third iteration for 499 iteration 0 0.002 and for last iteration it is 0 so here you can see the value for c is decreasing linearly from 2 to 0 over course of iteration next we will calculate the leader sound value as we have the virtual environment virtual search agents virtual c lines so we have virtual sound we need to calculate the value for the sound so as we already discussed we have a c line if they found suppose any c line found plenty of food source they call other members in water and on land to join the hunting so we will consider this c line as the group leader so now we are going to calculate the value for the c line sound so suppose this is the leader as this c line found the plenty of food source next you can see here using this equation we will calculate the sound of c line leader here you can see v1 v2 v1 that is the speed of sound in water v2 that is the speed of sound in air so you can see value for v1 we have sine theta value for theta is 2 pi r value for v2 we have sine phi and value for phi we have 2 pi 1 minus r put the values here and we will calculate the value for sound and we will calculate the value next we will check whether the value that we calculated here is less than 0 0.5 or not now we will compare and check if the new value that we found is less than 0 0.5 or not next you can see here for all agents we are going to update their position and we're going to perform the exploration and exploitation phase here you can see if else condition if the leader sound value is less than 0 0.5 then we will perform this phase else this suppose first case we have this condition is false now we will update agents position so here we are performing the circle updating position phase So as we already discussed in circle updating position they chase bait wall of faces and start hunting from the edges. So here you can see this behavior is simulated using this mathematical equation. This is the new position here you can see this is the target position and here this is the agent position. So here overall this is the distance between the target and the C line next you can see here cos 2 pi m m is here and a random value between minus 1 and 1 next you can see here cos for cos you can see here as you can see here we have bait wall of fishes and sea lions start hunting from the edges so here sea lions will swim around target in circular path so here for this simulation we are using cos 2 pi m next that is the target position next we will perform this phase when this condition is true now first we will perform now again we will check the value for c that we calculated here in step 5 we will check whether the value for c is less than 1 or it is greater than 1 if the value for c is less than 1 then we will perform the exploitation phase and update agent's position if the value for c is greater than 1 then we will select any c line randomly and 
global search is performed here that is the exploration phase now for this case suppose the value for c is less than 1 so for this case we will calculate the distance first between the target and the c line and small t is here the current iteration v is any random number between 0 and 1 now you can see here we calculated the distance put the value here this is the distance value c that is the parameter that we calculated and here this is the target location so for all agent calculate new position next for this case here if the value for c is greater than 1 then we will perform the exploration for this we will select any c line randomly suppose this is the randomly selected c line after that we will calculate the distance between the randomly selected c line and the other c lines here b is any random value next we will update their position it means we will calculate new position here you can see randomly selected c line distance and c that is the parameter now we will check the solution boundary it means the new solutions that we calculated here and here whether they are within search space boundary or not next we will calculate the fitness value for the new solutions that we calculated here so apply the objective function and calculate the fitness value for all agents in the current population next we will compare and replace the new solution with the older one so here we will compare whether the older solution is better than new one or not if the older solution is better then we will consider older else we will update it we will consider the new solution rank the solution based on their fitness value we will rank the solution and select the best and then we will update the best solution that is best among all now we will increment the counter that is current iteration plus one now next iteration is two and you can see maximum iteration we have 500 so until 500 we will repeat this loop and when the stopping condition is met we will stop and display the best solution so in the end we will display the best solution so here you can see first we will initialize the population evaluate their performance select the best among all then we will perform then we will calculate the c line sound then we will check if the c line sound is less than 0.5 or not then we will perform the exploration and exploitation phase then again we will check the stopping condition until stopping criteria is met we will repeat the loop and when the stopping condition is met stop and display the best solution so that's all about this video if you have any question you can comment below and thanks for watching this video